Flemington is a beast of a racetrack to call at, and it just becomes even tougher on Melbourne Cup Day. It's the biggest challenge in the 365 days. It's a massive, massive day. Racing, trip to Paris gets a nice run. Length and a half further back, Red Canoe. Under pressure, viewed coming with a run. On the outside, Rogan, Josh, Zaza. On the Bell. outside, terrific, wears him down. American Trevian. Princeton Pin Dance has history at Flemington for Shell Payne. Princeton Pin Dance with Max Dynamite. There's an enormous amount of preparation. Um, there'd be 48 hours of preparation goes into any race day. These days, there's so much form that can be done. When I first started in the 80s, no computers, no mobile phones, your form guide was just that out of a newspaper. There were no colours, there were no replays to look at, no trials, no jump outs. These days, you've got to do all of that. You've got to know as much as your audience Sixers Vintage Crop, the Irish St Ledger winner. IG is a magnificent individual. We didn't really know a lot about uh, Vintage Crop or Drum Taps, who actually was the more favoured runner. He, he did capture the imagination, just having these international horses uh, compete in our little Melbourne Cup. And it made us think, you know, we're on the world stage here. Ready for a start in the 1993 Melbourne Cup. And they're off. Drum Taps began well to a big roar. When Vintage Crop charged to the lead and we all said, here's the Irish horse, everyone thought, well, that's it. We'll never win another Melbourne Cup again. They'll come over and win them all. Crop got him. Vintage Crop, the Irish horse will win the Melbourne Cup. Vintage Crop, two links to Yarkow. Nick just held second. Mercator... But it took nine years until they repeated the dough, so it wasn't quite the takeover that they expected, but it put us on the world map, well and truly. Do you think this will enhance the reputation of the Melbourne Cup overseas? The Melbourne Cup will develop to be the international two-mile race of the world. But Damien Oliver riding with the spirit of Jason out by three on Media Puzzle. I think he's got the cup one. And Media Puzzle, Damien and Dermot have done it. Media Puzzle beats Mr Prudent Beekeeper, Vinny Row 4. When you're calling the cup, it's always in the back of your mind that uh, this will get replayed many, many times. The KBD She's Archie tries hard, but Maccabi Diva wins the cup. And she's going to do what no mare has ever done. But a champion becomes a legend. Maccabi Diva has won it. There's a sense of, uh, this is history in the making. This is the voice track to it. And I've got one chance. Viewed holding on. Bower dives. Viewed and knows the Bower, I think. It's a big thrill being a little part of Melbourne Cup Day to be that part, that voice track of what's going on, exciting as anything. I've had a runner on Melbourne Cup Day in a Grays race a few years ago, and I was in the mounting yard, Melbourne Cup Day, 100,000 people around who were 40 to one and ran accordingly, but it's the most exciting thing I've ever been through on a racetrack to be in that mounting yard on Cup Day. I couldn't imagine what it would be like to have a Melbourne Cup runner. I'd like to find out.